Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We have Upunabon Katara who joins us on After Press. It's a time where we look through the pages of national dailies and have great insight. And thanks to Upunabon. Thank you for joining us this Monday morning. We appreciate you. Thank you. Good morning, Mercy. Good morning, Kofi. And good morning, Nigerians. All right. Let's start off with the punch. It says politics and insecurity. Demand for bulletproof vehicles, special security gadget soldiers. And that's boldly written on the punch. Now you have several riders. VIPs, politician orders procure armored SUVs. Demand overwhelms dealers. Suppliers confirm increased demand sales. And their experts worry over killings and kidnappings. Politicians' actions show... Uh, the 2023 polls may not be violence-free. That's what uh, pro-democracy groups are called to say. You've got three riders underneath it. 37 firms get licensed to produce 762.3 megawatts. And uh, please cease 123 oil vessels. Others begin prosecution. Nigeria's economic outlook on setting and welfare worsening. That's what the World Bank is quoted to say. Muslim Muslim ticket, Tunubu Shatima's frustrating reconciliation, says Lawa. And you have seven Lagos passengers born in crash, firefighters attack. Lagos Ibadan traffic, police and kidnappers exchange gunfires, travelers rescued. I mean, there's a lot going on. Nigeria at 62 and as we strike down, can tells the federal government. There are more interesting headlines here, but we'll move away for the want of time. Over to the nation newspaper with these headlines this morning. The paper is back um, with its uh, headline coverage of the PDP. Not that it's, it is top covering the PDP issues, but um, this time it's about giving it the, the biggest uh, attention on its front page. Uh, the big story there, this quiet in the PDP, National Working Committee over 10 billion naira nomination fees, this quiet in PDP in NWC, over 10 billion naira nomination fees. The writers to that, members complain about depletion of cash to 1 billion naira. Wow. <laughs> Controversy over bribery lingers. Okowa seeks Sarkis intervention over Wike's threat to boycott presidential campaigns. More from the nation. Petrol subsidy hits uh, 2.57 trillion naira as supply rises by 10%. anti oil theft IG confirms seizure of 123 vessels. Um, uh, can president to youth uh, don't be politicians' body shields? Why we have not endorsed Peter B. Biohanese? Oyetola, a delicate trade word, says tribunal begins sitting. That's one to watch. Uh, anxiety is a CBN set to raise interest rates to new high. Court fixes Wednesday for judgment in Machina versus Lawan case. That's another one to watch. Those are the headlines on the front page of The Nation. Away from The Nation, we have the Nigerian Tribune. 2023 polls. States to Watchers campaign kicks off this week. Uh, that's on the 28th. But some people say, I mean, you know, the campaigns have started already. I have no political deal with uh, Ade Buta. Uh, Ogun PDP says Amoshu. PDP APC Beaker as Oshun Tribunal begins sitting. And uh, looking at all the caption here, Pencom approves 25% withdrawal from RSA balance as equity contribution for mortgages. And seven bunt in Lagos boss accident. It was also on the punch at 60. Second Independence Anniversary Service, Khan says, the wicked shall not rule Nigeria. <laughs> but people need to go out and, you know, cast their vote. Whether or not there's a wicked man uh, will be dependent on the people to choose. Flood Sachs Kogi Femer asks residents of Abuja flood prone to relocate. And Afeni Fair Lords Akeridolu overstands on true federalism. Well, that's so much we can take this morning on the Nigerian Tribune. And finally, we have uh, headlines on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. Uh, more airlines depart empty as charges, rejections, stifle export. 
and quite a number of riders to that uh, will take all of that for now. PFN disowns Northern Bishops meeting with Tinubu as more disquiet trails APC campaign cancel. <laughs> uh, Harvard University to honor Chimamanda with W.E.B. Dubois medal. Uh, Harvard University to honor Chimamanda with W.E.B. Dubois medal. Details on page two. That's a quite an interesting one right there. Uh, Huriwa, that's a civil society organization, flays Songwolu over suffocating taxation. $23 million about to loot Sarap Sius Buhari, Malami over failure to publish pact with U.S. So Basenjo, Konjo, Weal, and others decry absence of purposeful leadership in Nigeria and police retirees denounce SGF, urge National Assembly to pass pension bill. Some of the headlines are on the front page of The Guardian. We'll quickly bring in our guest analyst this morning, Opunabo in Kotaria. Um, Senibo, uh, because you're looking quite um, like a Royal Rivers man, and the Rivers people are, uh, are quite proud of their, their, their culture. Uh, I give it to you. Um, but, but, but let's look at the, 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 the latest um, uh, romance, you want to call it that, between uh, the APC presidential candidate and uh, the clergy. With what the, the Guardian is saying is that the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria is its own in Northern Bishops meeting with Tinubu. Um, are we supposed to be going down this lane again? Well, it's so sad that uh, at this point in time, I think, uh, like I always say, we, we want to dwell on trifles, trivialities. The problem is, it has to do with perception, you know. The Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC generated a lot of uh, criticism. And what uh, a lot of people are angered by that. And uh, the former SSG, I think I'm talking of... Uh, Baba Shawal, Nawal, and the others express their misgivings. And so, uh, coming from such persons, I mean, it's not something you're just going to dismiss. And I think what the Tinibu uh, group is trying to do is to, like, take or assuage the Christians. Because don't forget, the Christian Association of Nigeria also came up to condemn and also urged. Uh, Christians not to vote for uh, Tinibu because of the Muslim Muslim ticket. So I think what the Tinibu faction is trying to do is to placate the Christians. And so he will stop at nothing to meet with bishops and so on. But that is not definitely not going to change anything. Because uh, if my bishop tells me to vote for, example, Mr. A, okay, let me use Kofi. If my bishop says, vote for Kofi, and the person I have in mind is Mercy. I think the bishop cannot convince me to vote for Kofi when my, I, I have been, uh, decided to vote for Mess. It's definitely not going to change anything. Maybe if you look at some uh, religious bigots, it might affect them, but I think Nigerians are wiser. It's not the point. If one, one man won't vote, if you like meet with uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, if you like meet with uh, the Nigerians are no longer bothered. We cannot be deluded anymore. You see, I always tell people, we, we must not continue to conform to the status quo. We must transform, you know, and not to conform, because that is the only way we can. But if you say, my bishop said I should vote for Mr. A, and you go ahead to vote for Mr. A, at the end of the day, if you have uh, bad governance uh, enthroned, you don't have anybody to blame. And it's like saying you have a godfather as well. And that's why when people talk of this structure, I tend to disagree, and I always tell people, I say, for me, Oklahoma, if Mr. A is contesting for the presidency on a particular platform, let's say the PDP platform, and Mr. B is contesting for House of Rep on the APC platform, and Mr. C is contesting for Senate on the uh, 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 Labour platform, and I have confidence in this candidate, I'm going to vote across the party line. I will not say... Because I'm a PDP member, I must go for PDP all the way. Because at the end of the day, it's like a rain. When it's going to rain, it's going to rain on every group. If that PDP man is incompetent, and it's hypothetical, please, I'm not saying, you see, I've got a dimension in. If that PDP man is incompetent, it is going to rub up on me. So I should, like, my vote should be premised on competence and not on party affiliation. 
So right. if they can meet with any Pentecostal, they can meet with any bishop, they can meet with any Christian, to start with Dr. Nabori Kotaria, I don't really believe in this issue of uh, uh, the pastor is a saint. Well, we all know how many pastors are criminals. So uh, they can meet with all those kind of characters. We don't give a damn about that. Okay. The most oh, well. is Oh, well, 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 I don't yeah. need to mention them, but yeah. well, 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 even Christ himself said it. You have yeah. the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and so on. I, I'm not the, it's Christ said not all that this God Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. We all say, I cannot understand why a pastor will give Kofi 10 million naira and will go on air to say, I'm giving Kofi 10 million. When the Lord said, when what the right hand gives, the left hand should not so You've got your reward already on air. So most of the pastors are politicians. All right, Let him go ahead and meet you, with you, you mentioned The Christians know who to vote for. Yeah, you mentioned being a it member of, of the PDP. I don't know if that was also part of the It has nothing to do with credibility. Tinibu's case has nothing to do with credibility. Tinibu's case has to do with the content and the day with which he held the All right. Christian faith. All right. You, you, mentioned, you, you, you mentioned... You mentioned... So whether he's credible or not is the material. Yeah, you mentioned, yeah. Being, a, you mentioned being a member of the PDP uh, while making that... Uh, that I wonder if that's also hypothetical. But we'll, no, I'm not a member of the PDP. We'll leave that for I'm another day. I didn't say I'm a member of the PDP. Okay. No, I didn't say I'm a member of the PDP. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to be sure so our listeners don't get you wrong because you said if I, as a member of the PDP... Hypothetical. Okay, all right. I am politically on him. I mean, I'm party on him. Okay. I don't belong to any political No, no, I just want to be sure so people don't misunderstand you. Yes, yes. No, right. no, please. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you very much okay. for that. The world should know. I don't belong to any party. I yes. belong to everybody and nobody. It All depends right. on your credibility. <laughs> well, that's, that's quite interesting. Um, let's take a look at the punch now. Uh, on the punch, it talks about politics and insecurity. Now, there's a demand, a demand for bulletproof vehicles and special security gadget is on the high. This is what... Uh, you know, pro-democracy groups reporting, especially saying that uh, you have other persons, politicians and very prominent persons, uh, you know, procuring armored SUVs and what have you. I I'd also like to find out, Upunabo, have you also, you know, acquired any of these uh, vehicles? Yes, Messi, I have. <laughs> I have uh, uh, that's very good. <laughs> So it's bulletproof, right? I have, I, oh, uh, yes, I, I, I have treated vehicles. Uh, but the only difference is that while these other ones are things that you can see, your vessel of mine is spiritual. So uh, <laughs> that's for the light of it. But yeah, where will I get the money to buy a bulletproof vehicle? So, but, but, nobody to buy a bulletproof vehicle. But what do you but make of this? The truth about it is that, well, people do these things for twin reasons. One, status. You understand? Then two, sorry, I don't know why this. One, status. When you are driving in a bulletproof vehicle, it is believed that you have, in, well, as we say in our local parlance, we have arrived. I mean, yes, he's a big man. Is this, is that. Sorry, oh my God. I don't know why, why these people are disturbing my life. Ah, I'm so sorry. It's as if you have arrived. It's as if you have arrived. I'm a big man. Even when your life is not endangered, it's a status thing. Then, secondly, people use this because, of course, the political hostings have started, and a lot of people believe that the campaigns are going to be sanguinarian. In other words, bloodletting. And so, the best thing is to get the bulletproof vest in order to protect yourself. But I always tell people, I said, on the day you're going to die, you're going to die. Even presidents I feel, no amount of bulletproof vehicle will save you. The only time a bulletproof vehicle will save you is when you are not the target. And probably accidental discharge, bad for the vehicle would have killed you. If, for example, now, and let me use Kofi again. You know why I like using Kofi? Because I know that there won't be any case in court against me if I use Kofi. You will know. So, <laughs> let's for example now, uh, I want to kill Kofi. God forbid it, it will never happen, not in this world and in just that world. But let's say I want to kill Kofi. And I know that Kofi is using treated vehicle. What do you think I'll do? Do you think I'll go after him on the road? I'll go after him on the road. Probably even when he's making a speech. Or probably when he's at a function. I won't go for him on the road. Why should I go for him on the road? So you have the treated vehicles when 
It says you when you are, probably you're not a target. And it says from accidental discharge. That is one. Then all number two. You are traveling and you have these kidnappers. But the truth is, look at what happened to Andy Uba, who escapes just by the whiskers. He had a close shave with them. Yeah. Now, a lot of people said the bulletproof vehicle saved him and all those things. Well, to a very large extent. But I strongly believe quick one, because that if this thing... Okay. Yes, well, we're, we're being prompted to leave in no time. But let me quickly ask no, you No, no, no. Uh, let me ask you, you this see, now. You spent, you, you spent, you have to be spent 30 minutes analyzing if you're an airline, but that's, that's a topic for another day. Oh, oh, Kunava Kataria. Oh, Kunava Kataria. We apologize for the delay, but... No, that's on the light note. That's on the light note. I yes. will enjoy it. That's what happened. All right, then. But let me ask you this now. Uh, my question is still with the punch and underneath uh, the bold caption... It talks about pro-democracy saying the actions of politicians and the elites ahead of the 2023 election is just a pointer that the election will not be violence-free. Do you agree with them? Yeah, I will not completely disagree. But I think it will be a lot better than the previous elections. But my fear will stem from the fact that if presidential candidates have threatened that if he was not given the ticket, there will be a problem. It's certain power and brain. Now, if a presidential candidate, just to emerge as a candidate of a party, could issue such threats, you can imagine what will happen when it comes to being the president of the country. So there is this uh, fear, there is this dread, fear of dread and this unease that, yes, some persons are so desperate that they'll resort to anything, to various experience to ensure that they get there. And that is the fear. Otherwise, I have a conviction that it will not be as bad as it used to be. There will be some level of improvement because of the uh, improvement uh, by INEC. But sadly, INEC, I want to believe right now from Recent development is even being compromised. That would be a topic for another day. But INET is even being compromised. I don't know. I cannot um, pre, uh, what should I, uh, divorce Jigar from the allegations. Because, uh, sorry, I think Jigar is the INET chairman. Is it? No, sorry. Uh, Mamuri Yakubu. Help me out. Mamuri Yakubu. Sorry? Mamuri Yakubu. Yakubu, sorry. Yes, yes. You owe me Yakubu, uh, yes. I cannot, I, I, I cannot insulate it. I cannot insulate it from the allegations, because these things are in the social media, and it ought to have been brought to his notice. Of course, we had the Ugo, Ugo Shindu's allegations and other things. So he cannot feign ignorance of them. And if this is another address, that's why you have the Akwabi uh, and Co. A lot of people hide under the cover of court to perpetrate all kinds of evil, all, kind, all kinds of uh, uh, crimes. So if Jigga is not held back to save his credibility, and the image of the commission, that in itself will stimulate crisis. Did, did you say the Jaga, Jaga of is that not election is being questioned? Okay. Sorry? I think you wanted to say uh, Mahmoud Yakubu. Yeah, but if Jiga, if Jiga will not... restore and capture the confidence, because Nigeria to a very large extent before we had all these allegations, had so much confidence in INEC. Not until the issue of the primary, who is the uh, real candidate, who is not the real candidate, after INEC uploaded the names of the candidate. If you can imagine the kind of uh, Ferrari generated. All right, so, so, so we, we have, we have to go. To, do, to yeah. correct the impression. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, what I don't, I, I would like to know what Jaga has done to you because, because yeah, you keep I'd mentioning like to know what he has done to you. Oh, but, um, sorry, sorry, no, 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 no. We, we know, we know, we know. You met Yakubu, Yakubu. Yes, yes, indeed. We'll keep watching. Yeah, the, we'll yeah, keep yeah, watching sorry, the space. Not, not my, 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 yes, my, yes. Not, like, I, I mean, I yes, you have, you have. I was wondering maybe <laughs> he gave you the room of treatment I'm, I'm, or something. Ninety four hundred. I'm right. Yes, yes. All right. It's been a pleasure having you with us this morning, and we know that next. I would definitely will do our best to make sure we have more time with you. Uh, you're always one guest who always gives us an exciting delivery all the time. So, Punabo and Kotaira, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you so much. All right, all right. All right, we have to go, and uh, of course, uh, we'll be having our first major discussion up next. But of course, let's look at what happened today in history. We'll be right back.
told you you're going to represent this thing, and I'm serious. I'm standing up. Guys, I'm standing up.